It's your boy Baby Savage, aka the guy to grind. I got the homie on the line. Let him know who he is and where you from. It's your boy the mad scientist, repping Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, four oh five. Definitely, definitely, man. So why they call you the mad scientist or, or or is that a name you gave yourself or where it derived from? Uh well I got the name, it's been almost ten years, man. Uh one of my close partners, his big brother, gave me the name because he always saw me writing, always brainstorming, always working on a beat in the lab. And he was just like, I just had that, that mad scientist feel and, and vibe about myself. I was always working, had diabolical thoughts in my mind. Right. So that, that's, that's how I got the name, bro. Definitely, definitely, man. So how long you been doing music? Man, I've been doing it for uh, when I graduated in 2002. I've been I've been doing music since about 2000. I've been writing since I was in elementary school, doing little cheesy little poems and little raps and stuff. But I just got serious in right. 2012. Right, right, right. Yeah, well, you know it ain't never too late, man. You know. Um, right. So what you based out of? What city? Yeah. Uh, out of Oklahoma City, bro. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm doing a doing a tour through Oklahoma right now. The first week in S- September or whatnot, man. I'm getting a lot of love from Oklahoma, definitely, man. So I think it's gonna be a good oh, really? tour or whatnot, man. Um, who some of the artists who inspired you? Man, Nas, uh, Jada Kiss. Uh, Victoria's B.I.G., Tupac, Outkast, uh, Anita Baker, Sade, uh, Thelonious Monk, Kenny G, uh, man, Africa Bambada. Uh, I, man, I got so many different <laughs> different influences in it, and when people hear my music, they'll hear that. I, got, I can go from being mellow to going psychedelic to... Man, every angle. Right, right, definitely, man, as you should. And that's the way to go, you know what I'm saying? You just got to continue to just kind of, you know, try to take it to newer heights, man, and, and see what you do and, and create that creative flow about yourself, man. So uh, how, right. how the DJ's been supporting you out there in Oklahoma? Man, it's, it's, been, it's been a slow grind. It's uh, been getting a little love from... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Pistola Top Gun, he's been rocking with me uh, out there at Ecstasy Ranch. Uh, I, I've been I've been getting a little love out of state, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've dropped a mixtape with uh, DJ Young C, uh, G Unit DJs. I've uh, been rocking with the uh, Wu Tang Coalition DJs. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's it's been it's been a slow slow progression on the on the DJ tip, but. Right. I got a lot of love for for all the DJs out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's, it's been slow. Yeah, well, you know, just keep on working. You know what I'm saying? Everything gonna come together, guaranteed, man. Where you see yourself being at within the next uh, two to three years? I, I know you say you just started 2012, so you know what's the future looking like? Man, the future is looking beautiful, man. I, I just started my music publishing company uh, early this year. Uh, we, getting everything underway so i definitely see myself going far as far as uh music publishing is concerned uh as far as an artist i'm really not looking for a deal you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm i'm really trying to stay on the independent path uh but i definitely see myself distributing more uh more units dropping more projects uh i'm also working with an r&b artist a uh, couple of a uh, couple of rap artists, so I'm building my team, and, and we slowly, slowly getting on the same page, getting everybody music coming out strong, getting it copywritten, <clears throat> and, and starting to work down those avenues with different companies to get it, get music licensed out there. So I definitely see a, a bright future for for my brand and the artists that that work with the brand. Right, man. You know, uh, just just the conversation sound like you educated in certain areas about it. You know, and that's really what the independent game is about. Just creating money. You know, different avenues to create revenue in, in different areas or whatnot. And at the end of the day, 
at the end of the year, you know, that annual income is what's going to add up. So, right. You know, that's what I've been doing, man, for the last past year, just trying to educate the artists, show them what to do, different things um, to create touring and marketing and, and different type of campaigns to brand yourself, man. So, you know, definitely. Already. Yeah, just keep up the good work, man. Keep on making it happen. Before we get out of here, is there anything you want to let everybody know? Man, y'all need to check out that Spaceship Music. It's on all your major online stores iTunes, Google, Amazon. You can check me out on Twitter at Mad Scientist underscore three. Check me out on Facebook, Michael Anderson Mad Scientist. Be on the lookout for that unique Grandma Material Volume One coming soon. The date is to be announced. Man, just keep rocking with me. I love Oklahoma City, nationwide to be exact. Everybody listening to the music, rocking with me. Oh yeah, also check me out on www.reverbnation.com. Backslash the mad scientist and the mad is with two D's. I definitely want to give you a shout out, baby Savage, for fucking with me, man, on this interview and especially with the show that y'all been hooking me up with, man. Much love. Already, you already know it, man. It's your boy, Baby Savage, aka the guy to grind. We doing this for independent artists all across the world who want to get in their work. The boy, mad scientist, man, and we out. <laughs>